assalamu alaikum students i am sir hasan abdullah badel today i will teach you the bearing concept so for suppose we have o point here the knot is always at the upper side for suppose a point a is here and i am asking you a bearing from o to a so this basically means i am asking you an oa i am talking about the this angle so whatever it is i will write whatever it is like x so from o to a it will be x degrees but remember it should be a three digit number for suppose if the angle is acute or not a three digit number like 40 30 45 so we will write 045 030 120 x square bearing should always be clockwise now for suppose i would ask from a to o so it must be north a o now i have to put a north on a and i will calculate this angle for suppose y okay so this is the basic concept of pairing that what is basic basically so i will start a question in which i will tell you how to find out different types of bearing for suppose this question in this question we have been given a triangle abc the north is given at a have an angle 50 degree here angle b 67 degree and angle c equals 31 degree first of all i have to find out this angle and this angle can be find found out by angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equals to 180 because the sum of the angles is always 180 degree in a triangle so angle a is unknown this is 67 plus 31 is equals to 180 now angle a will be 180 minus 67 minus 31 so now this angle will be 82 so now we got to know that this angle is 82 so now i have to find out the bearing from a to b from a to b means every angle starts from the north so it will start from north i will go from north to a and then to b from a to b but i have to start from north so it will be n a b it should be angle n a b and all of you can see that the angle n a b is 50 degree so i will write a bearing 050 because bearing should be in a three digit number now from a to c i will write ac but angle will always start from the north so it is north ac so north ac is basically 50 plus north ac is basically 50 plus 82 50 plus 82 and that will become 132 now from b to a from b to a we have to make a north on b make sure you will extend the line so that calculation will be easy for us so because these two lines are parallel according to the property this angle is 
so this angle will also be 50 degree and to make it complete 67 this angle must be 17 degree okay now I have to calculate from B to A I will write B A but as you know I as as I have told you before that all the angles start from north so I would be solving N B A N B A so basically this angle is 50 degree so it should be 50 degree but this angle is 50 degree from this line while I have to calculate north B A anti-clockwise so what I will do this straight line will always be 180 degree and after 180 degree it should be 180 plus 50 that is 50 plus 180 because of a straight line so now the angle will become 230 degree from B to C so I will write BC but angle should always start from north so I will write NBC N B C as you can clearly see that this angle is 17 degree and I have to calculate this angle so basically it is a straight line and on a straight line if one angle is 17 degree the second angle will be its supplementary that is it can be found out by subtracting it from 180 degree so 180 degree minus 17 degree it will be 163 degree we will move forward now we have to calculate now we have to calculate from C to A from C to A means that north will be made on C so if this whole angle is 50 plus 82 that is 132 now I can calculate this angle by subtracting 180 minus 132 and it will that will become 48 so now if this angle is 132 so this angle will also be 132 and this angle will be of 48 because these two lines are parallel so this angle is 132 on this line and from that side this line is parallel to this line then according to Z property this angle will be equal to this angle and if this angle is 48 then according to Z property this angle should be 48 now we have to calculate from C to A I will write C A and I will write north in the start N C A means that if I calculate this angle this angle is basically 42 so I will subtract from 360 this angle because from starting here if I complete the circle this angle is 48 anti-clockwise I have to calculate the clockwise angle so it will be 360 complete cycle but this 48 should be subtracted to get the right answer so the answer will be 3 1 2 there is another method for this bearing that we know that this line is 180 degree and after 180 this angle is 132 so we will add up 180 and 132 we will get the same answer that is 312 degree now from C to B C to B means that we will start from north goes to C and we will go to B so basically this angle is 17 now this small angle will also be 17 
so basically this angle is anti clockwise to move around to this line we will make a complete circle at this point but we have to stop at this point so therefore before completing a circle 17 degree will be subtracted from 360 degree so it will be 360 minus 17 degree and that will become 343 degree or we may calculate like 180 is the straight line this is straight line and 132 will be added 180 plus 132 but we have to go to this line now more 31 will be added and we will get the same answer that is 343 degree so basically we have completed the bearing in this video and I would expect that you have learned this topic if you find any query in bearing you may ask me by commenting or you may ask me through my whatsapp number my whatsapp number is in the details you may ask me any of the things you want to thank you so much for your support keep watching my videos thank you so much allah hafiz